Hey guys, I'm Joe, and this is my Windows 8 customer preview review slash show you guys what the heck's up with this. I'm going to be try to be the most unbiased as I possibly can, but it's going to be pretty hard because I'm just going to get this out there. I do not like this, okay? So let's start with the major preview. So you get your own personalized, let me say home screen kind of, which is, I mean, it's okay. Like this whole thing, I mean, I'm cool with. It's pretty good having the live updates. You know, you have your photos rolling through in a slideshow you know, have your main things. This is like the start menu. This replaces the start menu, and I hope nothing offensive comes up here, because that's going to make me angry. That's some weird Photoshop stuff, but it doesn't matter. The music thing, I'm just going to show you in real time without any editing how long this takes to open up your music. Yep, it's still going. It's not frozen. It's not frozen. It's just loading. Okay, so it finally loads up. And then you have just a giant advertisements everywhere and then if you want to get to your stuff you gotta move over so they put the advertisements first before your stuff so you go here and then you can't just no, don't worry about that <laughs> um, so the whole thing is just so like laggy and so unresponsive it's insane they put this out there I mean gr granted it's free but still I am stuck with this I did not make a backup like the stupid person I was, and I'm stupid, but I, well, I cannot get back to my Windows 7, which I paid a hundred and something dollars for. I'm stuck with this, and it's laggy as heck, and, you know, no one uses Windows Movie Ma you know, Player. I mean, some people do, but not most people, but uh, they're stuck with that. I mean, you can use iTunes, but that's the main built-in thing, and then, you know, you get stuff like weather. Oh, before I get to that stuff, let me make sure. You have to have a Microsoft email, so a Hotmail. Once again, that's what holds Windows back. They need to realize they need to stop doing this stupid. You have to have all the products to use it. You have to have a Windows Live ID to use any of this. Like, I, I tried using my Gmail. I could not use the weather, could not use the messaging, could not use photos. It just crashed immediately. Well, not crashed. It went to that loading screen, and then it went away. But so let me show you some other stuff. So you have the desktop. So you click here, and that brings you to the normal desktop. And notice how this, the start menu is gone, or the start icon, I can't remember the name for it, but this brings me to the next point. They put the stuff in the most awkward places. So the start menu, it's not a button down here. You have to go down to the very left corner and push it. That's the only place that it will, it will work. So you have to go to the very left corner, and they forget that there's stuff there a lot, like things that will be over it. I know like the bar is there, but sometimes you're just like clicking, and it just brings it up when you don't want it. I can't show you an example, but once you download it, you'll really see what I mean. And up here brings you to the last use thing, and it keeps going back. That's almost nice, because I haven't had a problem with that. That's nice. And then, hold on, uh, back to the desktop. Another weird thing they did is, in order, if you want to use this bar over here, you have to go down to the bottom right. I don't really know where it is. Oh, yeah. You have to go into the start menu, hover over this to bring up this. And... To make your own icons, it's really weird because they just don't do a good job. Like, this is all the icons which would be in your start bar. And I can't find half my stuff, let alone this giant list that's really poop. That's the best way I can say it's poop. Um, Video, there it's not letting me use any of my AVI files, which is every single one of my files. So once again, Windows is trying to push their WMA format. See, it's not letting me use, hold on. So like this is some of my other stuff I use for my other videos. I will just click on it, try to play it. Just it's gonna yep, see, every single time. Which I'm assuming it's an AVI file, that's why, and they're just trying to be stingy and not let us use that. You know, you it's nice as a start menu. That's it. There's no other thing nice about this. Like it's nice having the things you want the most right there in front of you. So I got, you know, my Skyrim stuff, uh Steam, Skype, Photoshop. And this brings me to my next point, okay? It has caused a massive performance loss to my system. I can't even load Skyrim anymore. And when it does load, and when I delete everything and put it on the lowest setting, whenever, like, I enter a new room, I just fall forever. Every room has lost all its data. I don't know if my files are corrupted, which is going to be really sad, because it'll be my third time it's happened. But, uh, you know, I, tr I tried, you know, thinking it might just be Skyrim. Nope, it's Mirror's Edge. I downloaded that recently just for the heck of it was five bucks mirror's edge uh i even lost some performance in css which is insane and that should not happen so you know given that oh let me just explain some other apps real quick so you have maps which you know everyone can do on their smartphone so you don't care 
you have contacts, which why would you need that? You have Facebook. That's pretty much Facebook, or it's people, you know. Your Xbox Live games lets you look through the Xbox Live Marketplace, not download any games onto your computer, just let you look through the games. And the store is the only interesting function, which I found actually okay. And once again, this long loading screen, which is completely you know irrelevant, it could just take us to a website, which would be way faster. Speaking of websites, you know, if you use Firefox, you're screwed because I can't even use Firefox. I'll show you Firefox in a second, but let me show you the store real quick. So, you know, you got, you know, some pretty good stuff. I mean, I don't know why anyone would use, you know, US Today or Photo Bucket. You think like, oh, it's going to be so nice having it right there. But you got to remember, you still have to load up the app, which takes longer than just going to the website. You know, it's pretty nice. They give you a... Um, you know, they gave you they gave you cut the rope for free. I think that's the whole version, which is pretty cool. That's kind of cool of them. So I'll give them some props for that. Uh, they haven't had any paid apps yet. So the top free. Let's check. There's only 78 apps. I don't I don't know why there's not more, but I don't know who knows. You know, there isn't that much to choose from. Everything that's on here, you can already just go to a website way faster and not have to download anything. Uh, if you are looking for an app and you already have this, I recommend. I forget what it was called, but it, this one. Grant a phone. This one's actually kind of cool. I think I can just play it right here. Ah, oh well. That one's cool. It's like a beat maker, kind of. Uh, let me go to my Firefox. Okay, so I got my Firefox. I'll open it up and show you guys what's going on with this. See, so notice up here, everything is just going crazy. And that's like it every time I load a web page. So, it's really bo like terrible. So, but wait, if you go to Internet Explorer, which they made a thing for you down here, Works just fine, of course. No problems at all. Hmm. Microsoft, what do you have to say about that? Well, and given the fact that it's free, which is okay, you know, it's free, we didn't pay anything, but I feel like they should have not so much as a complete system of like overhaul, like you can no longer use Windows 7, you have to use Windows 8 now. That is their biggest problem, and that's terrible. I'm really depressed because I'm stuck with this, and it's just really unfrontable. So out of 10, here comes just something I'm just going to pull it straight on my butt. I'm going to give it a give it a 2. And that, I'm being generous, I feel like that, because I, I don't even know how I'm going to make videos anymore, because my Skyrim isn't working. I'll, I'll find a way somehow. I'll delete everything, restore my computers maybe. Uh, so I don't have that much stuff on here. But, you know, this whole thing is nice. Like, this whole left section, I couldn't care a thing about it. The right section, you know, it's kind of mediocre. It's okay. You know, having like this real fast. And it's definitely beneficial, like, when I, Skyrim was working, if I was to be like that. Oh, I gotta get well, my mod manager. Just click on that real fast. Really nice, but you could do it with the old start menu. But, anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this, favorite. Oh, right now should open up a menu with a bunch of my videos. Click on it, or not my videos, it'd be like text or whatever. I don't know. I haven't made this yet, but I'm sure I'll make it sooner or later. So, just click on one if you wanna go do it. If you like Skyrim, click on the Skyrim one, Battlefield, Battlefield one, Call of Duty, Call of Duty ones, you know the gist of everything. Thanks for watching. Send me a heart in the comments, I'll send you a heart back. Love you guys. Subscribe. Or not. Whatever you want. See you guys later.